Hey, Chad Imhoff here, the EFT guy. I want to share with you a little bit about my favorite camera that I use to record my sessions. I think it does a great job with audio and I think it does adequate work with video, but this is the Zoom Q2N. It's a really nice little portable small uh, camera. It has a gain knob up here on the top where you can kind of turn that up. I normally keep it between eight and nine right in there somewhere uh, because it picks up everything in the room and it does a good job. Uh, I'll talk about these settings here in a little bit. Um, I always keep it plugged into USB power. I'll say that again, I'm sure, but I don't want to lose something if I'm trying to get video. So let me just show you an example of that right now, and it should play. Here we go. Doing can do and why I like it so much for therapists. If you're just trying to record sessions and make sure that you get decent audio and decent video, I think this is the option. That's, it is literally my favorite camera to record sessions with. It's simple and it's pretty straightforward. There are some settings you can adjust to make it actually not take a ton of space either. So here's an example of audio uh, if you'd like to check that out. But if I'm over here and I'm whispering and I get quiet and something's going on for me, you can still hear me. I'm still quiet and I'm using a soft voice, but you can hear me on the camera. And if we're trying to get certified in EFT or other modalities where we're going into deep, painful places where people tend to whisper. Um, you have to be able to hear it to certify or to get supervision on a tape. And I think that the Zoom Q2 does a great job with that. Anyway. So there you go. That's my favorite kind of little camera. That's an example of it. And I'll tell you what, I will break down just a couple of more of the things that I like about it real quick. It records onto a micro SD card. It goes in the bottom here uh, and I'll show you that right now, but it's just a little bitty card. Um, and it's 128 gigs. That's what I bought to go with it. I'll put links to everything in the bottom, but it's a little card, but it holds about, I want to say 10 hours is what I think it said it would do. Um, on here whenever I first plugged it in, but I'm plugging it back in and it, it does a great job to plug that into USB power. All you do is you go to the side there and it has a little uh, USB symbol there. I think you can probably see that and it says five volts or whatever. I plug it in right there. Boom. That'll run all day long. This is a really nice camera in my opinion, but plug that in, uh, use a little brick like you do with your phone or anything else. And it'll, It'll run all day long, or at least until you run out of space on your card. You can even get bigger cards than 128 gig. I think you can get 256 or something like that. But um, but these are really nice little cameras. They do a great job, in my opinion. It's simple. Once you've got it all set up and you got your settings in there, um, I think it just runs and it does what it's intended to do, which is pick up the video and audio in the room, and it does a good enough job. So again, I'll, I'll show you my settings on here one more time. Uh, I like to go 1080p. Um, which is up right up here. I'll, I'll use my finger right up here. This 1080p 30 frames. So I can click through that if I wanted to, but I'll go back to my 1080p 30. I like to use the wide angle. I'll click through that too, but I like to keep it on wide and I just let it run auto as far as colors. I've got this low cut on right now. I might've just bumped it, but it doesn't seem to cause a problem. 120 Hertz. And then my audio is recording at 44 uh, K. Uh, 16 bits and then my gain i've got it auto gain is turned off uh, but that's how it works and to start recording i just hit boop there we go now it's recording and you can tell it's recording because it has a little red light on the front uh, you can turn that off but i always like to be able to look over and go is my camera on because i've had my camera not on it's always the best sessions right um, but this zoom q2n is probably my favorite and i would encourage you if you're looking for a camera It'll do lots of different things also, which maybe I'll make a video about how you can use it for other things. But if you're just trying to say, I want to set something on a table, get that wide angle shot that catches the whole room, 150 degrees is what it says on there. Um, you can you can almost get, uh, you know, even in a small office, everybody in the room. So I hope this helps. I hope this helps somebody out there. Uh, and, and if you want to, like I said, I'll put the links in the bottom and you can just go purchase it or uh, whatever. But uh Man, I, I do. I think this is one of those things where it's like if you have the technology that's simple, uh, sometimes you can focus on the therapy and the people in front of you and doing the work that you want to do. So anyway, thanks for checking this out. We get better together, y'all. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, feel free to sh shoot those to me uh, down below. All right. Thanks.